Hi, I'm Rob Johnstone, Editor-in-Chief of the Woodworkers Journal Magazine. Today, we're back in the shop using the CNC router, and we're going to make a table. We'll use it to cut the legs, we'll use it to cut out the top, and we'll even use it to drill a hole or two. So let me show you how that's done. I hope you like it. After you've tested the program for cutting out the table leg, go ahead and get the process started. I used a half-inch diameter straight bit for this process. Curiously, I found the run-of-the-mill two-cutter bit best for this task. The cutting speed of the program can be adjusted. At first it was running a bit too fast, so I went into the CRV file and slowed down the cut. I could have slowed it down even more, but if you're using softwood rather than hardwood for this table, I think it would be just right as it is. In order to keep this uh, blank in place, I used double stick tape, or using a half inch cutter, and that's got quite a bit of power that pushes against it. So I use this double stick tape in order to keep the, the product in place while I'm cutting it. it. Works good. Quite a bit of holding power. That's how I do it. After the legs were cut out, I set up my drill press to bore a half inch diameter hole to accept the half inch dowel I would use to attach it to the tabletop. I also drilled a screw hole at about 45 degrees in the back face of the leg. The screw adds a bit of strength to the glue joint. With that done, I used a roundover bit in my router table to add shape to the curved legs. Then it was on to sanding the legs, the last step for them before assembly. The tabletop was up next. I tested the cuts and found that the machine was set up to bore the dowel holes all the way through the top. I only wanted the holes to go in about a half an inch. So that needed to be adjusted in the CRV file. Another test run to see if I got it right and it was time to start the cutting process and cut out the last component. When it was done, the top was off to the sanding table and then ready for final assembly. A thin coat of glue on the dowel and the top of the leg was just the ticket. The dowel locates the leg and I used lines that I had struck diagonally between the corners of the tabletop to line up the back edge of the leg. Drive home the screw and you're done with the first leg. Three more, then turn the table right side up and put a heavy weight on top for a clamp. When the assembly is cured, a final hand sanding pass is necessary and then I sprayed on a coat of shellac of an aerosol can. Easy to do and a great look on cherry. So that's it. A hardwood table, very modern looking, made primarily with the CNC router. If you'd like the programming to make this table, it's available on our website for free. We also give you the patterns and the shapes for all of these parts so you can make it old school if you'd like. Thanks for watching. I'm Rob Johnstone for Woodworkers Journal. I got a couple more coats to put on this thing. <laughs>